as you would have just seen, I do in fact have some precious cargo with me. Now, I waited a very, very long time for this reel to come in stock. It finally has after about three months, I'm pretty sure. About probably five days to arrive at my house. It's finally here, I'm very excited. I've held off from opening this thing, but it is in fact a 2022 Shimano Stella FK in size 3000. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing video. Um, I'm not gonna chat too much about the uh, crazy technology that's got inside it. I'm just gonna talk mainly about what I find interesting and that I'm more excited about this reel. There's plenty of unboxing videos out there that go on in depth about the uh, technology inside this thing. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. I'm extremely excited to see this reel. So, okay, we'll take this little sheath off here. Shimano always go hard with the boxes and I absolutely love that about Shimano. Let's get into the second section of the reel. Take that top off. Some cool manuals. Can't really read those because I don't speak Japanese. Stella manual. Now, the important part. I've seen a few videos on this reel and a lot of guys go on about how good the, good the actual bag feels and my God, are they right. Anyway, we'll get the handle out first. This guy here. Now, the size I actually ended up choosing was a size 3000. So what that pretty much is, a 4000 body, I have another 4000 reel with me right here. Um, but the 3000 has a smaller rotor, as this one has a larger rotor and a bigger spool. So they're pretty much the same size from there. Um, it is that smaller rotor, like I just said before. So it's pretty much got this rotor and similar spool um, with this body. So I'm very keen to have a look. I actually haven't seen one in person. I've only seen a C3000, which is what I was more interested in at the start. Um, but I managed to kind of convince myself to go with this one since it came in stock first. And I guess the bonus about going with the 3000, with the 4000 body, is that it comes with a bigger main gear. So anyway, actually, let's just open this thing. There she is. Wow, it looks amazing. So I'm not gonna waste too much time, I'm just gonna put the handle straight on. You can instantly see straight away that larger body, literally the exact same size, if I can grab them both. There's my 4000 twin power here. But the exact same rotor as this 2500 Stella. All right. Now, let's get that handle on so we can feel this reel. All right. And it is, of course, smooth like butter, like these things always are. Wow. I really love that slow oscillation they got there. It just means, I guess, the line wraps around closer together so it comes off the spool a lot easier. Um, here's a quick drag sound as well, and drag knob. So this is pretty much going to be my Taylor slash salmon slash pink snapper reel. Um, I ended up selling my Twin Power 3000 XD. Um, oh my God. <laughs> And honestly, no regrets. Having the slightly heavier reel compared to the Twin Bat XD, which is obviously a much uh, lighter reel, on a taller rod, I guess it kind of weighs it down. And I'm gonna be honest, this thing isn't even that heavy. Like, I felt much heavier reels, and this is the biggest size of the 3000. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I can in fact take this spool off and put it on my Stellar 2500, the 2018 model, but we're not gonna do that, obviously. The technology that I'm more interested in is the new way that they've done the felt drag washers. Now, a lot of people prefer carbon. I actually, not really a great big fan of carbon when it comes to little reels like these, because felt will give you a much smoother startup. And honestly, I'm not fishing six plus kilos of drag with these things for fish and targeting anyway. So felt's always a good thing for me. The new way that they've actually designed the felt drag washers, apparently they're more durable. So 
that was a downside to these. Now let's take the spool off. Now I'm also going to be including um, this live art reel balancer here. And what this thing pretty much does, it'll protect the reel from getting scratched up on the rocks, but you also get these little weights that you can slide inside as well um, to balance up the reel. I'm probably not gonna include them because the reel is already heavy enough in my opinion. Um, I know I just said it's not really that heavy, but I think it's heavy enough. So I'm just going to use this as pretty much just a little protector. So when you actually have it on your rod, you catch your fish and you want to put the reel down, you rest it on that section there. I've also got a new handle for it as well. Uh, putting on this Liver, or Livre, however you say it, I say Liver, um, PT35. So that's just a nice bowl handle that'll sit right there. And yeah, I just prefer bowl handles, but when I do change it over, I also have some real knob bearings. So I'll take the Stellar ones out and I'm actually going to put them inside of my Twin Power 4000 here because as you can obviously hear, they are absolutely cooked. Anyway, that's I guess the unboxing of the reel. It's honestly better than what I thought it was going to be. Like this thing just looks and feels absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to use it. I also forgot to mention the line I'll be throwing on is the Shawmaster Varavis Casting P in P1. So that's 200 meter spool. I'm pretty sure this reel actually fits on 190 meters of P1, which is more than enough for what I'm doing. Man, I cannot wait to use this thing. It definitely looks the goods, especially with that little reel balancer there. I'm gonna definitely try and get out to one of my second favorite fishing spot to target some tailor on this thing. Now that I finally do have the reel applicable for what I wanna do, we should have a good time.